Basta nakagsalida nga Bisaya. Bisaya oh, nga dong good the wonderful. Sa sinyo. Kita na mo kuan miss. Na Bisaya nga salida. Nasa sinihan. Kadungog mo may paranormal romance. Wala. Kadungog ko ano pero nagaran ko na ko sa Facebook. Back then, uh, there was no internet, there were no DVDs, there was no television. Everybody had to go to the theater if they wanted to see a moving image with sound and music. Before, before, sa mga indie films, karon, and etc., ni Floris lang ta, way back sa history view, na nagintay ato, no? Though, na sa mga cockpit, na sa mga small, kuan, mga houses, pero, na siya ang atong sinima. Tanang kamaturan sa prosikusyon o defensa. Nagtuo sa walay jutang katahan. In the 60s, there were um, great films that were made uh, during that time and uh, Subwano Cinema had a uh, wonderful, wonderful last uh, film industry and uh, it was called the golden age of Subwano Cinema. Yes. We call that the golden age of Cebuano films or Visayan films because a lot, there were a lot of people who went to, the, to, to watch. There was an audience for the, those films and they made a profit out of those films. However, uh, after a while, these uh, actors and actresses migrated to Manila because if they made films in Manila, they, they catered to a bigger audience and their films can even be shown here in Cebu even it was in Tagalog or in Filipino and people will still watch because they were the popular Cebuano stars. Ikaw na Jero Pedro! Mas kasikatan mas kalibutan mo! Tagali kang fans dito! Ah, ano sa Pedro? Yung mga pelikula nila ni Joe Makachor Binisaya na ang ang artista si Steven to Steven Tiba to ang si Julian Daan sa istorya kaya nasuot sa radio sa pelikula sila na ilan na ibuwas ang kagulingan lang in between the time of Gloria Sevilla, Caridad Sanchez, and Matranillo, and our generation, when we say our generation, I'm talking about uh, Nard Chu, Al Evangelio, Alan Rabaya, and, and me. Uh, of course, there were other directors and, and you call filmmakers, but they were basically those who made films out of radio scripts. Now, the difference is that kanang they, the, the, the films that they did were really pangmasa. Atungguan, itlog man ay orin, sikat yun sa sanan, o katong batulog magtan. Nilam, ilam ito ni Juan. Ni Joe Makachor. Mara, wato yung mga sikat kina ito. I am told that in the golden age, they were very popular simply because wala man sila'y kontra kaayo. Wala may internet before. Ang TV channels were so little, perhaps none at all. Kasi kaya sabihan na rin, dito yung ano, 1996, pagsunda sa Kisimu Kriyala ng Kahinay, Dilig kagana king ana kanang language siya gamiton sa lida kay Bisaya. Ito yan kanang pero si Bisaya sa mga artista. Well, okay na siya pa minam for people kay since baka bata kay Tagalog. Ang tanda nga sila. The term na Bisaya kayo bista or batoy. Um I think they were referring to those uh, TV series that we saw 
um, in the 80s you know, and even early 90s uh, because there were no films then you know, mga Subuano, Tilisarias lang, CMTV. TV. That perception is actually changing right now. Yeah, although people before would see if it's if it's in if, if the film is in Cebuano or Tisaya, they would see this Badui or Bak. Yeah, that was before the old way of thinking. But it's actually starting to change right now because a lot of there are already a lot of indie filmmakers like here in Cebu who are starting to um, build their names and make films that aren't exactly Bakya or Badui. So therefore the quality the quality of filmmaking here or the films here in Cebu has actually improved through the years. Atik good. Nuwag tang lagi. Ano di makaganan mo dik in to bisaya mo bis baduyan ka na. Dili man pero ambot lang wala gola sa sa akong like ay kanang dili dili ko it more dili siya usual gani sa akong mga tan-aw ni. It's possible. I think there's a tendency it's hard to say with the cinema because it hasn't been given a chance in a long time, really, in the theaters. Siguro sa kanang mga napagawaan sa kanang bakuan o kung kay sa una magud na anat ang ang mga nexist ragid ng sa atong generation na makita na nato kay katung na sa mga kanang TV kanang mga lokal ng ABS kanang na sila series mga kanang bisaya agud yan kanang Kaingon ka nga bisaya kay siguro sad kay the way nga ni act ang mga tao murag ka nang namagoy naay murag style ang acting nga kana mailhan nimo nga nag-act sila pareha sa kanang mga telenovela sa kanang Manila Demonyo Kay balubak ka ko mao sa ka kung lugoson ka demonyo Gatuo ka galin Gatuo ka sayon magpakuha Gatuo ka biyaan tayo ka sa demonyo! Ano sa'yo mong favorite ng movie? Ah... Roroni Kenshin? Ikaw, Kingsman, Secret Service. Ito ang mata na together. Yeah, ako kay Koan. The Maze Runner. The Maze Runner. Saan? Game of Flash. Taon! Album. Right now, um, Sibuana Cinema is... Actually, it's... Um, it's actually booming right now. Since you've mga festivals that you can apply, and there are people here in Cebu who uh, are mga filmmakers, and you can keep them in So you can see it. The door is open. You can see it. If you ask, what's the state of Cebuano cinema today, there's always a kind of implication meaning compared to how Cebuano cinema was in the 1950s, in the 1970s, etc. Those are different beasts. By Cebuano Cinema, there are many different things we could be talking about. We could be talking about the status of film productions, which are feature films. You can talk about the status of short films, uh, the production of short films. You could be talking about the status of exhibition and audience. So if I compare Cebuano Cinema to a child you know, being born during that time, Skoro um, this child is just starting to learn how to Maybe it already knows how to walk on its own, but um, still managing to like, um, learn how to live on its own. Kita na kag bisaya nga movie, kaya bisaya jud mga actor ang silotian. Wala pa. Wala pa. I think audience building and creating a Cebuano audience for Cebuano films is probably going to be the number one biggest challenge that we have. And if we're talking about a specifically Cebuano audience, then we're talking about people that are going to film festivals in Cebu. Yeah. Ano man wala mo kita bisaya nga mo. Kuan. First day, wala ko i wala ko lang ka chance nga mo dig into bisaya nga movies. Kaba mo nga naay mga sadiday nga nasinihan wala. Dili kay me kon away. Dili away. We have we have big problems with distribution. Uh, the films that get made by um, Cinema One, which are some of the most accomplished films, not all, but some of the most accomplished, um, they don't get distribution. Uh, it's very hard for Cebuanos to see Cebuano films. Do not screen 
ng mga Cebu films, mostly film festivals, ang mga film festivals din. Now most of the film festivals in Cebu are underfunded, don't get the publicity that they need, and so it's hard to get a real uh, to 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 calculate what the response is. Wala lang yung mga students nga ipatanaw, dili. Even with the indie films, kung dili pa ito ang mga sudyante, wala ito. Recently lang, sa lima video, so nagpasalita itong mga bisaya. Mostly, kano ito? Funded ito sa lugar, so wala yung bayan. Wala yung bayan sa mga tanaw. Buang mga tanan! I think I am strength gets up. Okay, more on um, ang mga theme dere kay Leilain gets up. Kay Leilain director, Leilain ilahang taste or ilang kanahan. So para na ko ang simbo more sa mas diverse yah when it comes to um, filmmaking techniques. Maya na ba niya mga genre nila diverse po. When you say Films made in Luzon, films made in Luzon, films made in Mindanao. Uh, when you go internationally, there's no difference anymore. It's just because it's subtitled and they don't understand the language. Uh, every film from the Philippines, when you submit it internationally, they're judged equally. Not based on language, but based on content. There is a thread of um, uh, almost an Italian neorealist uh, everyday uh, life kind of story approach. Uh, there, there are uh, stories like Cordero that struggle with the idea of religion and faith. Um, there are pop, uh, there's, there's films like Andamgo ni Luteria um, and even soap opera uh, that struggle with the issue of um, poverty. Um, and these are all very, very real stories. Manawagan lang unta ko sa tanan nga naminaw karun din ni sa DYHP nga So talking about SWAP, what is our edge sa international? Ang technique, how Remton did it. Diba one long shot? Yeah, for 90 minutes. So if we could have more techniques na very unique na maana to Spain was so amazed in China, no? Kay international pa na mga mga koan meeting of different filmmakers, producers, actors. When we were discussing with them, they were so curious how how swap was made. We have a slot. We have a space in the international scene because we give them a different flavor, a different perspective a different voice that is distinctly Cebuano, distinctly desires and um, that's our that's our edge. Pero magtagahan ka chance, ganahan ka magtanaw sa Lida, sa sinihan dyan nga Bisaya. Action, horror, ah. Pino ka ako? Pino ka ako? Pili na sa dyan. Okay na. Pili ka ba doon yan? Pili na sa dyan. The future Cebuano cinema, it's actually very bright. I mean, I'm very positive that eventually, yes, as I said earlier, we will, we will reach that golden age again. I think a few years from now, we would be having our own legitimate Cebuano film industry. We're in people day by day you know, working on making films, um, and people would be making money out of it. But uh, moving forward with um, Cebuano cinema, since we start the overall ball, right? kay kanang kisubdan na og kanang mga filmmakers na to and yeah naginihilay na okay ng popularity so kana dili lang gyud siya stop maka move forward kita it's still a language that it's not going to take over hollywood correct but it can ha it has an audience uh, every day subuan filmmakers are multiplying with numbers no? uh, every year new filmmakers emerge and um, I hope that in the future, more and more Cebuano films would come out and people will get used to it and people will look for it and people will crave for it. That way, um, the industry would become a reality.
to wider film industry? Well, this, I guess the present generation of filmmakers will just have to make more films. Keep making films for fun. If they want, um, just keep on making films. Just if you have a story, make it into a film. Moni ang Cebu. What do you think about Well, um, you know, so knowledgeable about yung mga older movies. Then, um, so current situation recently, because I, I know, I know those people. Si na Ruben, si na Rento, na um, and so brang creative nila as as filmmakers. So, parang with the right support, I think malaki yung chance na mag-flourish ang Cebuano na natin.